Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. It's 1133 and we're heading into this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine out there. We are going to be seeing the humidity staying pretty low and we've got a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms popping up. We could use the rain. Better chance of rain though is going to come tomorrow and especially on Thursday and it looks like on Thursday morning. We'll take a look at future track in a second. First of all, we're taking a look at the tracks that are being put down on the roads by these the traffic here, and of course, we've got the traffic moving nicely at 66 and 69. Love to see that uh, because that's a busy interchange. There's the wasp just hanging out on our tower cam lens. Oh, my goodness. He's taking a nap, dude. <laughs> Take a nap somewhere else, uh, or at least on the top of it. Uh, Bill Morgan camera right there. Um, hopefully, it's not dead. <laughs> well, it's moving. It's moving. It's okay. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. It's Mavra. No. Um, anyway, he started to work his way down a little bit. Anyways, we take a look at downtown, or I should say down in Central City. Got that beautiful blue sky. More sunshine down to the south than what we're going to see to the north. We're still going to see plenty of sunshine north of the river, but it's going to be mixed in with a few more clouds out there. And you can see those few clouds out there over the Evansville sky. That is our superior eye camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. Right now, the temperature 82 degrees. Dew points crept up a little bit. Still not a problem at all, but it's at 60. And we're going to be in the low 60s, it looks like, for a good chunk of the rest of the week. So, I mean, it's not going to be humid, but it's going to be at times getting pretty close to being humid. Let's put it that way. Not quite as pleasant is what we've seen with the southwest wind at around five especially tomorrow and thursday with the rain in play too we could see dew points creep up into the mid 60s uh, 81 degrees in jasper 82 tell city 84 now in princeton 85 karma 83 in a lot of places down to the south uh, dixon madisonville and also fordsville 81 in owensboro as we head closer to the afternoon still some false returns around the radar site we are seeing real returns pretty good line of showers and thunderstorms cutting through uh, northern parts of illinois now into northern indiana most of that should stay north of Indy, but Indy's seen a few showers too. They've got a severe threat out for Chicago today, and all threats are in play, even though it's just a marginal risk, an isolated severe threat. Area of low pressure to our northwest. It will be drifting down, though, in our direction. And as it does, our weather will become more unsettled, really, over the next couple of days. But uh, the severe threat, mainly just north of 64. That will be late today and then tonight, and even overnight, too. Can't rule it out. An isolated uh, hailstorm is possible. Really don't see a wind threat or a tornado threat with this. Now, the new run on future track is indicating a few showers popping up this afternoon, a few more than what we saw earlier. Uh, but we do have the chance out there. 30% shot, and then we've got another round of showers and thunderstorms moving in overnight, mainly up to the north, and here we go. Now the rain chance starts to pick up just a little bit as we head into our Wednesday morning, and then we get a bit of a break. We're going to see wave after wave of these showers and storms. So I really think the best chance for getting some heavy rain will be on Thursday morning. You can see a pretty good line of showers and thunderstorms kind of cutting through uh, the tri-state and even to the south, where really over the next 24 hours or so, the best chance of rain is going to be to the north. Uh, we're going to see it down to the south as well on Thursday morning, and then pretty much off the board as we head into Thursday afternoon. As far as rainfall amounts, I mean, plentiful in some locations, not so much over the next 24 hours, but as we kind of work our way into Thursday, now we're looking at a better uh, dousing of rain. It looks for a lot of folks. As we see a marginal risk for severe weather, basically along and north of I-64 is where we've got that. And the th uh, threats in play really don't see a tornado threat or a wind threat. It's a hail threat. And even then, we're talking about at a 5% chance, level one threat for hail there. That'll be late today. And also tomorrow, early in the morning, and in between, too, for that matter. 87 degrees, but I'm calling it for a high today. Nice and warm out there. Not all that humid, though, with a few showers and storms popping up later on this afternoon. Best chance will be north of the Ohio. Not a big wind at all. On the three-degree guarantee, called for a high yesterday of 86. Got within five degrees of a record, 88, but that's a winner. Let's hear it for Mary Alice Cessna of Owensboro. Congratulations, Mary Alice. You've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station and pick it up and see Pam up front. She's the keeper of all the goodies. 87 degrees for a high today. A little cooler with more clouds in play and, of course, the rain chance in play, too, on Wednesday and yeah. Thursday. Hey, the weekend looks good, though, Stacey. As you know, we'll be in the mid-80s for highs. Yes. It'll be warm. Uh, in the it. first day of the Fall Festival on Monday, 84 degrees for a high. So, yes, like we've seen over the past several it's years, it's going to be more summer-like than, than fall-like. Fall -like. <laughs> we'll see maybe by the end of the week, but definitely starting off that Dry, way. though, and I think that's what they like that's the most. That's the key. Yeah, I don't think they care temperature-wise which way it goes, yeah. but they want to keep the right away. And now a long-range forecast for winter. Check this out for simmon seeds. Oh, gosh, <laughs> Those what are, are they spoons. saying? We're shoveling snow. We got the spoons out there. Ah, uh, Becca Danielle is the one <laughs> that cut open those persimmon seeds. Thank you, Becca. Awesome. We'll be right back after this. More local lifestyles. Stay with us.